Let me introduce you to Job. He was blameless and upright. He feared God and hated evil. He had a big family. He had seven sons and three daughters. He had lots of stuff too. He had 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 oxen, and 500 donkeys, and lots of servants. Job was a top bloke. Even when his sons and daughters got together and had parties, Job would offer a sacrifice on their behalf just in case they sinned. Job was a top bloke. Well, one day, all the angels came before God and Satan came with them. God asked him, where have you been? Satan said, I don't know, just roaming the earth. God said, have you thought about Job? He's a top bloke. Satan said, he just fears you because you give him stuff. If you take it away, he'll hate you then. Very well then, it's all in your power. But don't lay a finger on Job. Well, Job then got a message that his donkeys and oxen were stolen. Then he got another message that his sheep had been burned up in fire. Then another, that his camels were stolen. And lastly, and sadly, that his house collapsed on all his children. Job then replied to everything that happened and said, I was born with nothing, I'll die with nothing. God gives and God takes away, blessed be the name of the Lord. On another day, the angels came before God and Satan came with them. God said, where have you been? Satan said, oh, you know, just roaming the earth. God said, have you thought about Job? He's still a top bloke. Satan said, are you sure? Just take away his health. He'll curse you then. God said, very well, it's all in your power. But don't take Job's life away. And so Satan inflicted Job with terrible sores from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. His wife then came to him and said, Why don't you just curse God and die? But Job replied and said, No, we are to accept all things from God. Despite all the things that happened around Job and to him, he didn't sin by charging God with doing any wrong.